khayals, thumris, ghazal, or just rag-based performances. Renowned Hindustani classical vocalist Kishori Amunkar's concerts were all soul. From bhajans to Marathi music to even a short stint in Bollywood, Vidushi Kishori Amunkar was one of the most distinctive voices in Indian music. Her genius was as much a product of her peerless vocal talent as her strikingly original interpretation of the traditions of Hindustani classical music. Born in 1932 to the great Mogubai Kurdekar, who was trained by Ustad Aladia Khan, the doyen of Jaipur Gharana, she received a talim that was steeped in an esoteric style that few have successfully managed to master. She reinvented the Jaipur Gharana style by incorporating shades of Gwalior, Agra, and Kirana Gharana into her singing. The resultant alchemy was as mesmerizing as mysterious. She has been awarded the Padma Bhushan and the Padma Vibhushan for an exemplary career. Even as the praises ran and continue to exalt Vidushi Kishori Amonkar as a virtuoso, she was quick to tell one television journalist what she thinks when people term her a genius. I only know that I am a devotee of music. I treat my music as a divine path. With her passing at the age of 84 in April this year, an era has come to an end in the world of Hindustani vocal music. May I request all to please stand silently for a minute as a mark of our respect for her soul. About 500 BCE, the ancient Greek art of drama was flourishing. The ancient Chinese dramatic performances was at its peak. About the same era, the performing arts was flourishing in India too. The performing arts in all of these ancient civilizations had a common thread. They had their origins in religious rituals. These early performances combined mime, stylized movements, and a chorus. In India, Bharat Muni's Natya Shastra, the ancient Hindu Sanskrit text on performance arts, is the most important manuscript of the Indian traditional arts, the fountainhead of all classical dances. It is the theoretical foundation of all major classical dance forms of India. One of our classical heritage is the graceful Mohiniyattam, the dance of an enchantress. Mohini, a mythical enchantress, avatar of the Hindu god Vishnu, who helps the good prevail over evil by deploying her feminine powers. It is traditionally a solo dance performed by women after extensive training. And bringing to the life this graceful dance is Srimoti Mom Ganguly. May I please ask her to come on stage for her dance performance. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed an honor for me to have been invited here to perform before you the dance form which is closest to my heart, Mohiniyattam. Mohiniyattam, as you heard from Tithi, is one of those very, very traditional dance forms which had originated during the Bhakti Kalt movement, which goes in accordance with the performing arts evolution in Northern Asia, in China too, which 
seems to be very coincidental, but actually the Bhakti Prabhaha, which was enthralling the entire globe at that time, saw the resurgence of art forms all over the world. India being the seat of culture was not behind. And when Jayadeva's Geet Govinda was carried way down south to Kerala, we, found, we find the evolution of the Ekahari dance from Mohiniyattam. The speciality of Mohiniyattam is the very, very specific stylized languorous movements of the torso in various arc and wave movements which are non-stop, non-jerky and non-angular. I know this part of the country has seen, a, seen very less of Mohiniyattam and whoever here I've heard speaking about have seen only my guru Padma Shishramati Bharti Shivaji and this morning all the items which I will be presenting before you will be all her compositions and choreographies. The first item of this morning is a nritya or pure dance form which is known as the Mukha Chalam which is an intricate interwoven movements of the basic adavas or the chovadas of Mohiniyatam which are strung together in various ragas. The Shuruti Mukha Chalam as it is known as since it starts with the Shuruti Rag also blends into Rag Kamboji and Samantha Milehari. The first presentation of this morning is Mukha Chalo. Oh, no, say, oh, 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 oh
Tim da, 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 tim da